phishing is a type of attack that uses email or messaging services to trick you into taking an action, such as opening an infected email attachment or clicking on a malicious link. The name comes from a similarity to the sport of phishing. Cyber attackers don't know who will fall victim. They simply know the more phishing emails they send, the more fish they will catch. In a phishing attack, cyber attackers put out bait for you in the form of an electronic message. Like a good lure, it's crafted to look authentic, often appearing to come from a trusted source or playing on your emotions, such as a sense of urgency or curiosity. The attackers often don't know much about you personally, so they choose a familiar bait they think people will go for, such as a message from a popular online service or brand of credit card. How can you avoid getting caught? Don't be in a hurry to jump on every link, text, and attachment. Be skeptical of messages that are unexpected or seem odd. Here are some common clues to look for. An extreme sense of urgency. A phishing message often wants you to act right away, so you don't have time to figure out something's wrong. Be especially alert to any message pressuring you to bypass or ignore our policies and procedures. Requesting sensitive information. Be alert any time you're asked for information, such as account numbers or passwords. General greetings or language. Be cautious of messages that say, dear customer, or don't address you by name. Emotion. A message creating a strong sense of security or an opportunity that is too good to be true. No, you did not win the British lottery. Tone. The message appears to be coming from a friend or coworker, but the wording or tone of the message does not sound like them. Unreliable sources. Double check the from or reply to email addresses. The email appears to come from a legitimate company or a coworker, but the from or reply to address is a personal email account like at gmail.com or at yahoo.com. This means that when you reply to the email, you're actually replying to an email account the cyber attacker controls. Hovering. Hover your mouse over a link before you click it so you can see the true destination. On many mobile devices, pressing and holding the link will show you the destination as well. Even better, bookmark in your browser any sites you commonly visit. Then, instead of clicking on links in your email, go to these sites using trusted links you already bookmarked. Sometimes we even give sensitive information away by accident. One of the biggest culprits is the reply all button on your email or the group text function on your smartphone. Always be sure you know exactly who your responses are going to. In addition, be careful when you're typing in email addresses. Make sure that you spell them correctly and watch out for the auto-complete function, which can end up filling in an email address you didn't originally intend. Always double check the to section in your email before sending. Once you send a message, it's no longer in your control. Ultimately, common sense is one of your greatest defenses. Take your time and double check a sensitive email before being sent. And if you think a message might be a phishing attack, report it to the information security team.